So hi everybody, my name is Blake Kuzma and I am the recruiter for the College of Fine Arts at Western Michigan University. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of our 3D uh, aspects of the Gwen Frostick Art School. Perfect. So I wanna start with metals and jewelry. We do everything from small sculpture to actual jewelry and functional things that you can wear. We do a lot of really cool things, but the coolest thing is probably their workshop, so I gotta show you that. As you can see, they all have their own individual space, um, so you don't have to worry about your tools disappearing or fighting someone for the whatever it is that you need. You all have your own individual sets, your own individual spaces. But we have everything in here that is necessary for you to kind of make whatever it is that you're interested in. This is where we kind of have our metal smithing space. So you have the anvils and all the different things that you can use to pound out metal into different shapes. And then this is going to be the upper level the Bachelor of Fine Arts students for metal and jewelry. This is where you can definitely start to see some of the incredible things that you can do as a part of this program. And then this is going to be ceramics. So ceramics is gonna be probably one of the larger spaces that we have. They also have their own studio spaces. So something that I feel like I should mention, all of our studio spaces for our students are kind of clustered together. So all the painting students are together, all the sculpture students are together. It's especially important for ceramics to have their own particular studio space because they need pottery wheels and access to a space where it won't matter if they get ceramic dust everywhere. So they do everything from actual functional pottery um, where you know you can drink out of it, you can use it as a plate to sculpture. Our new professor Kyle is doing a great job of kind of rearranging and uh, cleaning up this space. It's very, very organized and very, very open. You can see all the pottery wheels that we have here in the back. And then these tables are kind of for sculpture and just kind of shaping your clay however it is that you would like. And then back through here is going to be part of our kiln room. So we have all of our electric kilns, which are kind of gonna be over here. This is something that you're probably used to seeing in like a high school classroom. And then we also have our gas kilns. So the gas kilns are obviously much bigger. And this is Big Bertha. Big Bertha fits one of me and her. So I can stand upright in Big Bertha. So you can do some really massive sculptures here. And then it doesn't end there. We actually have even more kilns outside. We have our Raku kiln, which involves burying uh, pottery in burning sawdust. And then we also have our wood burning kiln. Which, this is gonna be our salt kiln, which uh, interacts with different pottery and different glazes. Sculpture is definitely one of the most versatile um, programs that we have here. Sculptures can be made out of basically anything. So their spaces can do pretty much anything. You learn how to weld in this space. We also have our own foundry. So you can melt things down and make casts or molds out of a variety of different things. This space is gonna be more the metalsmithing side of things. Um, the foundry is actually underneath uh, this lovely little great looking thing here. Underneath this thing is our lovely little uh, sand pit sculpture because they do use so many different kinds of work. They actually have their own little baby wood shop. And then they also have what is called the wax room. So this is kind of where you're doing a lot of your mold making. This is going to be kind of like their classroom. So again, a very versatile space because it does a lot of different things. Some of the examples you see up there are the different things that they do. They do things with metal, wood. They do things with a variety of different mediums. It was super nice having you guys. I'm really glad that you took a second to kind of stop in and check on us. Uh, we really loved having you see all the spaces. We really hope to see you soon. Uh, feel free to shoot us an email or even follow us on social media. You'll see me again there too. Um, so it was really nice having you. See you later, bye.